It's got a winder here. Well, a massive winder. It's like a bloody landing. Got a few of them. And good with time, so I thought I'd just do a little video. So I'm just going to show you how I would fit a, la a winder. So the first thing is, you get your roll finder. I've got a pen. It does the same trick. Um, you find a roll. Um, and once you once you get a, a roll or your line, you um, you make sure that your pile is is running straight. Um, so you get your set square. You set that on the nose. It goes with the the, the the roll that you found with a roll finder or pen, and uh, yeah, that's good to go. And then you just kind of like just cut it into place so it just kind of sits freely. Now, I've mentioned this before. Some people in the states they would uh, they would up close to this. They would probably bam 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 mushroom effect up close to it. Here in the UK, it's more a waterfall effect and um, it's probably more cost effective as well because you're not going through a whole bunch of nails. However, both ways are nice as if it's done properly. So you've got your you've got your um your what's it called? Your carpet laid, direction flowing nicely, hold it in place here and there. So I'm just getting this creased in now. So once I um, get the corners all cut up nicely, that's, that's held on now. I can pull this back and I can mash it into the grippers. So there's pre-tension on the riser before I stretch away. Same again here. Cut the corners so it drops in comfortably. And this is my left hand, so this is a bit more funny now. So once again, pull a bit and just don't have to go crazy. That's just pre-tension, that's just holding it a little bit if you get what I'm trying to say. Then you can lift this all up, get your stretcher. Me, I like to stretch straight into this corner and then kind of gradually build it there, build it there so it's kind of got an even stretch. Um, uh, I'm just gonna get my... So, this is very, very cheap carpet, so probably not the best carpet to start demonstrating with but nevertheless so so you just hold that mash that on and then i will pre-hold this and just gradually work my way work my way in same here again You have to lift it up at one point because it will bulge. And uh, yeah, so that, that's fairly tight. So, any little other things that you've got that you can't really get your stretcher in. I should have shown you this before, but I have grippers down here. Actually, you know what, I'll show you. I have grippers down here, so I can tuck the carpet in. What I do is here, is once again I pull, so it's like I'm pulling away, and then I'm pushing with my eyewitness, so I get that hold. So, I'm, let me take it off, I'm pulling, and then I'm pushing, and I'm mashing it on the grippers, so, 
That's, you get what I'm trying to say? That's tight now. And I'll do that with all the areas that I can't get to with my stretcher. I'll pull and push, pull and push. So I'm pulling and pushing on. It's like a power stretcher, but a very miniature version in terms of the method. So I'm pulling and I'm pushing and it just gives tension to that secluded area that you can't really get to with your stretcher. And um, that way you have a tight finish all round. It's just a little tip, pulling and pushing all round your staircase or anywhere, it could be in the corner of a room and you will get good results from just little tips like that. I just thought I'll share that. I'll start tucking this in and I'll show you the end result.